In this question, we're asked to use theorem 2 from the textbook to find the inverse Laplace transform of this given f of s, which is 2 e to the negative s over s squared plus 9. And I've got theorem 2 here for us. It says that the Laplace transform of the step function for t equals a times a function f of t equals e to the negative a s f of s, where f of s is just the Laplace transform of f of t. So let's try to apply this here to find the inverse Laplace transform. First thing I notice is I have this e to the negative s term. And I can identify that as this portion of theorem 2. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of pull it out of that fraction. And now I want to identify a. So e to the negative a s, I'm looking at negative s, that makes a equal to 1. So when I take the inverse Laplace transform, I'm going to be multiplying whatever f of t is by e to the negative t, excuse me, the step function of u of t minus 1. Just to keep that in mind. Now let's look at the inside of this, what's left of the fraction. It's 2 over s squared plus 9. That looks close to the Laplace transform for sine of 3t, but I need a 3 on the numerator, and I've only got a 2. Well, I can switch that by multiplying it by 2 thirds and switching that numerator to a 3. So you see when I multiply that, the 3's cancel out, and I'm left with that 2 that I had in the beginning. But I can take the inverse Laplace transform of that as 2 thirds sine of 3t. And then I just multiply that by my step function, and then where I would have had sine of 3t, I put in t minus 1. And this f of t is the inverse Laplace transform of what I was given.